guys. So today, here at Ken Heupel, we're going to take a look at a Ford. Now this one, again, has been ravaged by rust, but painted with trim clad to hide all the problems. Just by just coating it, literally he just put silicone over top of, there must have been a plate right here, and he siliconed it in place. No big rust in these areas here, nothing special. He actually put tape or a sticker over top. There must be a sticker. And of course the fuel tank. Actually, that's one fuel tank. Here's two fuel tanks. Yep. Nicely bent. And look at the size of that diff. Huge. Look at those shocks. A little bit finished, a little bit shot. Look at all the springs. Huge. And then this big welded thing. What the hell is, oh, a big trailer hitch. Huge, look at this custom thing. Monster. Some BFGs. And they're 265, 75, 16, huge. And again, something saying auto. Something virgin, auto something. And again, typical rust, but they painted it with trim clad. Silicone always helps. And the inside, oh, we've got wood. We've got wooden running boards. Always good to have wooden running boards. Nothing special in here. Oh, she's a standard, oh boy. Not my fave, definitely not. 92, yeah, 92. And, uh, Always a little broken. 93. 93 F250. There's always sash cord holding things up, but somebody's taking a lot of the motor. Yeah, taking a lot of the motor. It's always good. Headlight's still in good shape. Stumble over a few things. And the same thing here. What's this? Oh, it goes into the heater core. So again, this oh, seems to just turn. So you don't have to have heat when you don't want it. There's another one down there. To be able to turn off the heater box. All that coolant. Oh, then you have to stick a bolt in things. Yeah, it's always good to be able to do that. Crazy, here's another one. Yeah, so it must have bypassed for something. Crazy. And again, how old do you see these? It's a 92 and the hood stays up just fine. Proper springs instead of those shocks. How's this? Tires himself? Nah, those will get you home. Nothing special. And again, somebody's taking all the axle business out of there. Letter walls, and here's some more wooden running boards. Made out of steel, but somebody's just bracketed up in there. And of course, a big dent. What a crazy color this used to be. Some sort of puke sand beige color. No wonder they painted it black. But before then, I assume it didn't come in black. They're usually green, yep, sure enough. A typical Ford green. Yep, typical Ford green. So, green, and then beige, and then black. Three paint jobs, or two, two paint jobs. So anyways, nothing too much here. On an old Ford F-250, SAN 379. See ya.